Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you uh, how to tap strafe. So I've already done a guide on my channel before on how to tap strafe, but it's a little bit outdated. And since then I've learned a lot of like uh, new things um, and how to implement tap strafes into your uh, everyday gameplay. And so yeah, I just want to do an updated guide on how to tap strafe. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all right, what I'm first going to show you is actually how to do a tap strafe. And so a tap strafe is honestly pretty straightforward. Um, it's just a whole bunch of uh, move, move, move forward inputs um, at the same time or in a very rapid succession to actually um, make you uh, do like a large turn. And so this large turn um, can allow you to get over walls, um, um, like uh, kind of dodge bullets, uh, make you harder to hit. Um, and so, how you basically want to, how you're gonna want to do it, is you're gonna go into settings, go into your mouse and keyboard, and put your move forward as a scroll wheel up um, on your second key. Because if I just do scroll wheel up as my um, general movement key um, it's not it's not gonna take me very far I'm like gonna go really slow and so you obviously still need that um, so just make that your second key and then what you want to do is you run it like a sprint or you don't even have to sprint you can just uh, walk um, but then you either want to jump or slide jump and then um, let go of your uh, move forward key and um, hit a directional key and um, make uh, and turn your camera and scroll it up at the same time and it should end up looking like uh, something like this and so and so you, you can tell uh, if you did it correctly by um, say you clear this corner um, really tightly like that um, so you can like even do like a 180 around it almost uh, and so yeah that's 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 how you know you've actually done it and so uh yep yeah, that's uh how to actually tap strafe and so now let's move on to actually how to implement it all right anyways i'm gonna g get into actually how to implement tap strafes and so uh one of like the best ways to actually implement a tap strafe into your gameplay is with wall hops um so like i want to get around this corner without like um sprinting around it just because that makes me an easy target i can um wall bounce and then tap strafe midair um to actually able be able to get around the wall and so you slide jump um and then do your regular tap strafe um where you let go of your um w key uh, or your move forward key and then hold one of your directional keys and so you can also do this with with fatigue jumps as well um so yeah that's that's a one that's a, that's one way to actually implement a, a tap strafe you can also do that like a backwards say like a, i wall bounce right here and then i um do a or d or um s and d with and so that will bring me around like this and so it's a pretty good way to peek because it makes you hard to hit and also it makes you look scary and so that's a uh, one way to actually implement uh tap strafes another way is to uh is with super glides um or not even just super or not even like super glides you could just like jump off of a ledge and tap strafe um, but like with super glides, you can um, do a lot more with them. Say like right here, I super glide and then um, I tap strafe to the right or left. And that makes me really hard to hit. I can also even tap uh, and super glide completely backwards like this, um, which is another good way to actually uh, implement it. Another good way to implement uh, tap strafes is with a pathfinder grapple um, or even like a wraith portal. Um, where the Wraith Portal gives you extra speed, and so you can get bigger tap strafes, and get a lot more, um, 
momentum, especially off of a wall bounce and stuff. Alright, anyways, by far, like, one of the best ways to implement um, a tap strafe is with a Pathfinder grapple. Um, like a super grapple. Anyways, Using grapple. you do your super grapple, and then you can literally just, like, tap strafe around. Um, it's really easy to do, and it makes you, like, incredibly hard to hit, and just adds, like, a whole lot of versatility to Pathfinder's kit. And, like, so it makes it, it's, like, better um, than just, like, doing a straight grapple. He comes down onto the ground and um, does his tap strafes. Then it makes you, like, really hard to hit, and it makes you look scary, and it lets you get, like, first shots off. So then you can actually uh, kill your enemy. Alright, anyways, um... I should show you, um, like, say you have, like, a friend in the firing range or something. Um, I want to show you, like, what it would look like from a third-person point of view. Looking at you actually tap strafing. Um, to, sh to show, like, what it would look like. So then, like, maybe you have, like, uh, extra confirmation or something. And so a tap strafe uh, in third-person should look something like uh, this. Um, where, basically, uh, it... Looks like you, like, uh, switch directions really fast. Um. It should look like that from, like, a wall bounce point of view or something. Um. Where, basically, uh, it looks like, uh. You, like, move, like, kind of, like, an unnatural way, I guess. Um. And so that's that's what tap strafing should look like um, from a third person point of view. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you at least found it helpful um, in a way where you could actually use this in your everyday gameplay. Um, if you want any, if you want to learn any more movement texts, uh, request them in the comments. And so maybe I could do a video on them in the future. Anyways, uh, thank thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.